isn't going to be there when you want to keep your baby. They're going to tell you that your life is over. And you know what? I was unplanned as well. And people did tell my mom, well, abortion would be easier. And in the moment, it does seem that way. But they don't tell you the other risks that come afterwards, like the grief and the guilt. And so we need to be there for women. They need to know all of their options before they make the choice to abort their child because they could be making a decision that they can never, ever undo. So, thank you. Yeah, Savannah Craven, once again, is with the seat, yeah? All right, folks, come on. This is my man, Raul Rivera, done a lot of strong work. Thank you so much, yeah? This corruption, we're trying to fight it. Go ahead, Raul. So I'm just going to say a few words. I want to say thank you to the organizers. Thank you to Dion. Thank, thank you to Dion. Thank you to uh, the organizers of this event. Uh, we know this is New York City. We know New York is blue. But we are not all woke. We are not all woke in this city. And we say that we're going we're gonna to vote for Trump. Trump is going to take New York. There's a lot of undercovers. And they're going to vote for that guy. They're going to vote for We support Donald Trump. You know, in New York City, uh, we have a city council. Let me, let, me, let me read this instead. Let me read this. It's a, this is a, a, a few choice words for the mayor and the city council. A couple of points that we want to make out. Uh, when you have a mayor who says, show me the money, and says it's all about the money, then you know he cannot be trusted. And I know that they are more like him. You know why? Because I'm from the Bronx, and I know a hustler when we see one. We know a hustler. And the Adam, Adams is a hustler. He's a pimp and a hustler. We have nothing personal against them, but when you say, show me the money, when you say it's all about the money, then what you are, you are pimping a hustler. That's what you are. And you're pimping out New York, and we know this, and we call you out. It's our right to do so. Also, to the city council, they say they defend us. The city council, we got 51 council members. And the city council is full of blacks, Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, Asians, and they don't defend us. Words for the progressive caucus, AKA oppressive caucus, AKA the posse, the race hustlers speak about racism and white supremacy. And yet the city council is full of blacks, Puerto Ricans, Asians, it's not the white man, it's not Donald Trump. It's our own people screwing us. And New York needs to wake up. You have to wake up. When, when it comes to congestion pricing, did they say anything? They didn't say anything about congestion pricing. A city of yes. They don't say nothing about the city of yes. We say city yes is bullshit, that's what that is. They wanna rezone our city. They wanna do that for the developers, for Stephen Ross. For the billionaires, that's what they want to do. They're pushing out people of color from the city. I'm a native New Yorker. I was born here. I have every right to stay here in this city. Why am I being pushed out? Because they only care for the developers, not people of color. They support Kamala Harris. Huh? And Joe Biden and all these woke politicians. New York is going to go red. When the governor, when Governor Kathy Hochul says a racist remark about blacks in the Bronx not knowing what a computer is, they don't say nothing, they stood quiet. Not one word, not one peep. But if Donald Trump said something like that, they will crucify the guy. I'm gonna end this with a quote. I, I like quotes a lot, I think quotes are very important. So I wanna share this quote and, and, and share it, share it, because it's very important. You can fool some of the people all the time and all of the people some of the time, but you cannot fool all of the people all of the time. Abraham Lincoln, thank you so much. You Trump right. 2024! Trump 2024! Oh, wow, what's up, man? That's my guy right there. Hey, how can people follow you? NYC Drivers United, he represents the drivers. We fight it, we fight it for the taxi driver. We fight it. Uh, you can follow us on Raul Rivera 125 at TikTok. You can follow us on X, Raul, um, NYC Drivers Unite, NYC Drivers Unite. We're losing access to our streets, bike lanes, uh, nonprofits. They're, they're in bed with the elected officials. We're losing our streets. If you pay attention, you can't drive in this city no more, right? Everything is for the bicycles, uh, for the woke agenda. That's what's happening. We're losing access to our city, congestion pricing, 
Uh, all this stuff that's going on. The ripping off of the New Yorker, they wanna, they wanna charge you $15 to come into the city. Huh? They killed that, why they stop that? Because it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Most New Yorkers do not own a vehicle. Most New Yorkers do not own a vehicle. And then, and they're against it. You know, Council Member Borelli came up with a, a resolution, put it on the ballot, let New Yorkers vote on it. How come they don't put that on the ballot, right? They don't want to put it on the ballot because most New Yorkers are going to say no. Most New Yorkers don't own a vehicle and they're, gonna, they're not going to vote for that. They're not going to vote for it. They're going to vote against it. We got many people in the city council, in the city council that don't represent us. I'm going to leave it there. We, we, we're so upset. We, we, we love Trump. We're going to continue to fight for him. Thank God he's alive. They couldn't get him. They couldn't get him. You be ready. He's going to win. Oil production is going to start, and we're going to get our economy back. That's what's going to happen. He's going to save America, and he's going to save New York. Thank you. All right, we're going to put up, because uh, I'm sure my man Rob Keith has something different to say about that. But right now, just so you know, who's showing up for us? Kamala's not here. We're right in front of our office. We have multiple calls. Excuse me. Visiting person. Hey, yo. We're going to have actually some Anthony right here. Well, Anthony. Yeah. Anthony, where's your phone? Who's here actually with us? Thanks again, yeah? Put it on record. Let Some people, right, show up. You're either helping us or you're not. That's just basically what it breaks down to. You're either helping us or you're not. I had my own presentation again, but we've been here from all the activists. Go ahead. Um, this guy's been coming up. Next up, brother. Yeah, it's right the side. Yay! What's up, everybody? My name is Anthony. I'm a lifelong New Yorker, and I'm just here basically to support these guys that were incarcerated I basically lived in New York my whole life. I've had a lot of friends' lives ruined by the justice system. I myself was raped and drugged in my own home, and when I called the police, they let him go without taking his name and put me in the psych ward during COVID for five days without reading me my rights. And then they remanded me to a drug rehab facility because they determined that I was a potential threat to myself and others. Never was I read, read a right. Miranda never even came out. They locked my door, put me in handcuffs, and seven days later, I was in detox. So I'm here because in 2020, I realized a lot of shit. Like, I noticed in 2016 that the Democrats kind of like bypassed Bernie Sanders to put Hillary Clinton up there, and everybody was cool with that. 